believe and you know he's able to take care of yes. it. Amen. So he lifted up his voice. Father, I thank you. In the face of the tomb with somebody buried in it four days, he's giving thanks. And after he gave the thanks, he said, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, he that was dead stepped out alive. The power of thanksgiving. Yes. I want you to go home from here. Look at any situation you think is bothering you and begin to give God quality praise and thanks. <laughs> quality praise and thanks. Quality praise. Now, listen to me, church. I'm telling you this. Even if you have problem believing what I'm saying, go to God and tell him, your servant Trawi told us this from your way that if we do this we will see your move father because of what your servant told me even though i haven't really seen it well but i am doing it because your servant said it and it is in your way do it that way and see what god will do yes praise the lord Hallelujah. quality thanksgiving the church is dry of thanksgiving today and so we don't see the move of god complaining of what they want to get and they are not getting. The money they expect and it's not coming. Complaining of the people they are trying to, you know, use some tricks for them to bring their money and they are not coming forth. Complains. Instead of lifting our hands to God and to bless Him. When I open my eyes in the morning, all I want to see is the doings of the Lord. His goodness. His goodness. His goodness. When it comes to this ministry, I just bless God. Because you might not understand, I know the forces of darkness that are released against this ministry. And yet, we are moving on. Amen. Do you know why we are moving on? Because of the hand of God that is with us. Because this is God's church and He's actively involved. The Holy Ghost is moving us on. And nothing is too strong to stand in our way. That is enough for us to throw our hands in the air and give Him praise. There are a lot of people who wish that they'll wake up one day and they'll hear that this place is closed. No way. <laughs> but they will, they will wait for it till eternity. Because that is absolutely impossible to happen. Yes. Unless Jesus is no more the Lord of Lords. Yes. So is that not enough for us to give him praise? Yes. That's right. Demonic forces are loosed against this place because the devil is desperate concerning this ministry. He knows that this ministry is a solution to his works in the lives of people, multitudes of people. He knows that this ministry is a light unto this city and unto this generation. He knows that this ministry is an answer to the questions he has put in people's life. He knows that this ministry is bringing an end to his activities in people's lives. So he's desperate. But the good thing is that no matter what he does, we are moving on gallantly, Amen. triumphantly forward by the Spirit of God. Yes. And that's why I love the song that says, Onward Christian Soldiers. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Onward we are moving. Nothing can stop us. So when you, you wake up, please, bless God for this place. You want God to manifest himself to you through this place. You want God to bless you through this place. Thank him for this place. Thank him for here, for this place. There are a lot of people that call and will be sharing all kinds of testimonies on the phone with me and they've never even stepped here before. Some will say, I was listening to it on the YouTube. Some will say, I picked your CD from here. Some will say, I was watching it on the net. And they, they will be telling me what is happening to them. Through this ministry, what God is doing in their homes and in their jobs. So why won't you thank him? So you are blessed for being here physically. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's giving. Is supposed to be our lifestyle, our lifestyle, praising God, praising God. Let's see something that happened in the book of Acts chapter 4 and verse number 24. Acts chapter 4 and verse number 24. 
And the Bible says, and when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. Now, there was a situation. The, the, the apostles have been called by the council of Sahindri and they've been warned never ever to mention that name Jesus Christ again. Don't you ever mention it again. And after they were let go, they came together. And this is what they did. What did they do? They lifted up their voice and said, Lord, thou art God. What were they doing? They were worshipping God. They did not come and complain. Father, so you sit in heaven and you want them to do this and this and that. No, they said, God, you are God. You are God. You made the heavens. You made the earth. You made the sea and everything that is in it. In other words, what they were saying is that, Father, you are greater than those that are threatening us. Yes. You made them. God, you, thou art God. Thou art God. How many of us will be confronted with, with a big challenge and you will just lift up your voice and begin to worship God? That I don't care the challenge I'm seeing. God, you made everything. You are greater than what I'm seeing. You worship him. And as you do that, he comes down to inhabit you. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. And when they did that, let's jump to 31 and see what happened. When they worship God in the face of the challenge. Verse 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaking when they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. What happened? As they were worshiping God, praising Him in the face of the challenge, there was a shaking. Why was there shaking? God came down. In the book of Psalms, the Bible says, Oh, thou mountain, you skip in the presence of God. They threaten them. Don't you ever mention it again. Yes. The day we hear you mention the name Jesus Christ, that's your end. And they came together. Father, you are God. Oh Lord, you are almighty. Amen. You made the heavens. You made the earth. And then everything that is in it, you made it. These people are funny. <laughs> you don't know the God we are serving and you are threatening us. He made you. And the Bible says there was a shaking. Church, Amen. As you decide to live a quality, a new lifestyle of praise, I see the wind of the Spirit shaking everything that is not of God out yes. of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. through the instrumentality of praise. So Christianity is not just being a church member and going to church. It's Christianity is knowing the ways of God and walking with him. That is why they said, let us go into the house of Jacob that he might teach us his way and we will walk in it. It is one thing to go to church. It's another thing to know the ways of God. And it is those who know his way that always experience him and walk in the supernatural. His ways. And these are some of his ways. You know what is give thanks for that is the will of God. And after you have done the will, you will receive the promise. Give him thanks for the release of the supernatural. From today, nothing will be strong enough to make you moody. Nothing will make you grumble. Nothing will make you complain. Nothing will make you mama again. That any setting has lost its power against you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the face of any challenge, you will lift up your hands and glorify your Father. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's very important. Very, very, very important. Because a life of murmuring and grumbling and complaining will never flow in the miraculous. Anyone that is always grumbling, always murmuring, always complaining, will never flow in the miraculous. It's also dangerous because we have come to understand that the children of Israel that could not enter the promised land was because of grumbling, murmuring, and all such things. And because of that, they could not enter into the promised land. But you will enter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise